and welcome back to another Wizzy Walsh Venting vlog. We are off to some... Oh, I can't catch my breath, so nervous. <laughs> Show jumping today at a new venue and I'm really nervous. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am really nervous. So we are off to Tushingham Arena, which I've not been to before. And it's <laughs> notoriously built quite big, which I didn't actually know until I booked it. So today I'm doing my first 85 centimetre course. Feeling it quite nervous, but I'm like 70 is too small for Sarah now, as in not too small, like she just doesn't respect it as much as she should do. And it's just a bit, it's kind of what I was about when I was doing 60. So I'm ready for that, like jump up to a bigger height but not if you know what I mean, because we just need a bridger, like 90 is a big jump from 80 and I don't want to do 80, 90, I want to do 75, 85 and just try and go up gradually because the last thing I want to do is knock her confidence and my confidence after all the time we spent building it. So um, yeah, we're going along today and we're meeting the lovely Martha Lily there. So if you don't know Martha, which you should do because everybody should do from her photos, um, so Martha is a photographer around Dropshire area and her photos are amazing. So I will show you her page there. And uh, yeah, she's very kindly after me being like, I don't have anyone to come with me, Martha, please come with me. She is freeing up some of her Sunday, bless her, to come and support me in Sezi, which is absolutely lovely. And I will finally get to meet her properly because usually we just see each other in passing when I'm going over a jump and be like, oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, come along with us and enjoy the ride. Oh dear, we've got some sprightly ponies. Oh, please don't go down the bottom because she'll go down there, Rocky. Excited because we've got a friend. Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, beautiful Popo. Hi, are you going show jumping? Are you going show jumping? You good girl. She says, oh. Got the pony. I think she's feeling a little bit sprightly this morning, aren't you? And she needs a really good brush. And then I'm gonna give her a brush, load up, and then get going to Tushingham. Sezzy! She's got her new gear on from DS Equestrian. Yee hee hee! Oh, Sezzy! Yeah. See you later! How cute, are the sloth prints! <laughs> You're not a sloth, are you, Sez? She is loaded with her sloth hay bag and her matching rug. Oh, <laughs> the lorry! And uh, yeah, we're gonna get going now. We have arrived at Tushingham. That was so easy to get to, and I can't believe it. I used to live in Whitchurch, which is literally like 10 minutes down the road from here. <laughs> oh, okay, Saren. Um, I'll just show you round briefly and then I'm gonna get ready and I'm just gonna watch the course I think I'm feeling really nervous. I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling so nervous <laughs> This is the arena That's the warm-up over there and then That's a nice arena there nice and big looks a bit smaller than Ashwood, but nice and spacey so shouldn't be a problem. Come on Sezzy Bear. This is yeah, this will be the first time that I've gone um, cold turkey, so like not coming to arena higher before and just coming and doing a competition, so I'm feeling a bit nervous. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Oh. <laughs> hello, pony. Ludo can be okay. What's his name? Uh, Ludo. Ludo. Hello, Ludo. Are you okay, buddy? Uh, no, you're being naughty. Uh, attention on me. <laughs> she says, I, yeah. I'm the Wizzy Welsh, she's in my YouTube, you good girl. Okay, it's gonna walk the course. Um, apart from that, <laughs> there could be in her eyes, but I'm not. I'm just gonna keep going straight and ride forwards. And we've got a bit of an interesting line to number three, so it's K 
kind of like a dog leg to this. It's fine, at least it's sunny. So it's quite a sharp turn off here. So use as much of my arena as I can for absolute angel. You look beautiful, says Wald. Beautiful popo. <laughs> it's my <Martha. laughs> <laughs> I've, I've literally just been like running around like a headless chicken. Right, I need to go and warm up now. ASAP. Lens at the end of the video. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Me and my brilliant ideas. It normally works. This lens must be longer. So she's just been warming up for a couple of minutes. Be countering now. You alright? I didn't hear what she just said then. I was just saying, we've literally never met. She's watching me. <laughs> Influencer! <laughs> um, that we haven't met before, and we're literally just like, yeah, you know, friends. There's no on off switch on this. You have to just pull the screen out, which is annoying. So a nice fence post in front of this jump. I think she might be going to the upside. Hey, Mash. You okay? Han? You okay? Okay. You got this. See you in a bit. So as usual, you've seen the round and now I'm going to do like a voiceover about what I was feeling. So I was just thinking at this point, please do not look to the side there where that pile of jumps are and she didn't even look at it. And she felt like really quick, but a bit nervous at the same time. And when she was going to the fences, she couldn't quite get her stride right. And she was kind of stuttering into them. And I was like, that that's usually when she can, when she stutters in, she can sometimes kind of stop. Um, but this is the difference now is that actually she's starting to say, yes, okay, I can, um, which is really nice, actually. So coming around to this one, she got a really nice stride into it, and I just sat oh, and just let it go, and then I popped it, and coming around to this one, Martha missed it, I think, because honestly, the setup she had, she had a massive camera, and then she had this just on top. And then coming from this ox, so this ox was a bit nervous about because it was coming away from the warm up and the gate. And you can see I really braced and sat back and she just jumped it beautifully. And then by this point, we kind of got into our groove and she was flying round. And then I thought, oh yeah, just turn in there, it'd be fine. It'll be fine. We can just trot it if not. And she just popped it and we did a nice little clear round. But yeah, it just didn't feel quite smooth and as flowing as I'd like it. I just couldn't get the can to my but I was so chuffed for that. She said she made her work for that. She's knackered. Well, it looked good. She made me ride hard for that. Did she? You didn't look at it. Did not? Then again, I was trying to do two things at once, so... I reckon the video is going to be, like, super shaky, but... <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> 
how are you feeling about the next one? Nervous. I need to get a canter more together. Yeah. She's like, hopefully, because she's seen them now, she'll be fine. Yeah. Is she but feeling like, quite keen or is she standing off a bit? She's she stuttered a few of them. Yeah. But I think it's just because I was scrambling for the stride. But yeah. Instead of slamming on the brake, she's actually like gone for it. So that's good. Cool, cool. Good like, Oh, please don't stop. You've got an hour to contemplate your life choices now. I've said hey. I've said to the vlog. <laughs> Correction, 40 minutes to <laughs> contemplate your life Still choices. Still plenty of time. <laughs> like, do I want to do this? Do Watch them putting it up is always a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to walk it. No. Up, I'm not going to walk no, it. No, I never walk mine. You like my really crap little turn into 11. She thought she was jumping the yellow and white. I was like, oh, where's she going? And I was like, oh, it's finished. <laughs> go have some hay now. Yeah, clever girl. Kill you go butter up the uh, course builders and be like, just put up one. <laughs> just a little one. <laughs> It'll be fine. It it's going to be fine. It'll be good in the sun. Just warming up for the 85. She says she's strong. So onto the 85 and I am not going to lie to you, I was absolutely pooping it. Um, this is our first 85, biggest course we've ever done and they were full up. Um, so yeah, she jumped two and three, absolutely lovely. And then coming around to four, she just got a little bit ahead of herself. Coming down here, I think I sat for one minute and just went, oh, oh God, that's quite big. And she just stopped. And I didn't make a fuss of it, like I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't make a big deal out of it. I just turned around, got a nice canter, and then we just came back into it. And she said, oh, okay, I can do it. Literally tried her hardest and just scrambled over that fence. And then from there, it was kind of like what we needed, like a bit of wake up call. Like, yeah, actually, okay, we can do this height. This is absolutely fine. And instead of, you know, overcomplicating it, I just trotted her into this um, combination coming up. And it just gave her time to breathe and just like collect herself again and me as well, I guess. And yeah, she just absolutely flew around everything else, jumped that oxer beautifully. And then she comes around to number nine and absolutely pings it. Like, look at that. And that's the best she's ever jumped. And then it comes around to number 11. Yeah, we were in our groove then and it was kind of like the nerves had gone and we were just flying around. I was so pleased with her, as you can probably hear. I just had to include these amazing shots that Martha took and I just love it because you can see Saren just looks happy like she's her eyes relaxed and she's just really pleased with herself which you'll see in a minute when yes, she comes around. She did so well. Oh, 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 isn't she come on? Yeah, yeah. Hunting, I'm oh, telling you. I'm so proud. You're locking on. Scoopy gal, scoopy gal. Oh, I'm so chuffed for that. I don't need to ask if you're pleased. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh, and and as well, she stopped. She did. Yeah, she stopped. But then she was like, she did it a little bit, and then she was like, oh, I can do it. I felt like you both did it a little bit because you were scared of that one. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared of number nine, and then she absolutely just went for it. Yeah. I felt like once you'd got over that one, and then the red one as well, it was lush. I was like, number nine's not gonna be an issue. No, no. I just I try. I try. She's not even on duty, but she can't help herself. Photographer in the wild. Go for me. Such a noob. Oh, she's left it up. Midi. Time to say goodbye, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. a lovely day, and Martha's been an absolute star. So okay. Thank you for coming, and we're going to be going to Bissell soon, so stay tuned for that. So, we are just back, and she has been a little superstar, haven't you? Yes. You're so clever. I'm so proud of your pony that you are becoming. So, yeah, I'm just going to get her off, and then I will do. A debrief because that was such a good little outing and ah oh, Martha is just amazing so um, yeah th big thank you to Martha for coming with me I mean meeting me there and just being like moral support photographer videographer just bless her she's done everything it's just what I need I just like having someone on the ground and like having a support and oh, I just love Instagram and social media for that side of it like we've been talking every now and again on like, Instagram messenger same with no horse Han and Han yeah and, and most people that I've met to be fair like Katie and then just meeting them you just feel like you've known people years it's so nice but yeah I'm really looking forward to Bisslewood now but yeah I'm gonna get her off because she's gonna start kicking off otherwise aren't you you're gonna start kicking off we don't want that because you've been a good pony haven't you yes yeah so I'm gonna get her off and get her fed so we're back obviously and Pony's in her bed, she's back in her her rug. Very good girl, aren't you? Yeah, yes you are. Um, oh, I'm so pleased with Saren. I am so pleased with her because that was a new venue, so that was one thing to overcome. And like, there's loads going on there. It's quite a busy venue, to be fair. And she just, she didn't bother. She didn't bother at all. Um, she did feel quite sticky in the 75. And like in the warm up, I kept struggling to get the right stride into the fence and it was really putting me off. Um, so like I was coming in and then she was like stuttering at the end. It's because of me, I know it is, because I hate. And that's why I avoided it in the warm up as well. There's a spread, had nothing underneath it. So it was just two poles parallel, quite high for me. <laughs> and I just hate looking at the gap underneath. I just, I'm just drawn to the gap underneath and I just, I don't know, I just freeze in the saddle, so I thought that's not going to do anything for our confidence going into the ring, so just didn't bother jumping it, and really glad I didn't actually. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm blown away by how much she's changed and how confident she is, like, I know she stopped in the 85, but 
I don't care because it's the fact that I can now, yeah, okay, we get a stop. And then it's the fact that I can turn her back round and come back to it and she will go over it for me. She she did kind of like, she was like, Ooh, okay, but she did it. And that's the best thing is that that shows her confidence. From there, after that stop, her confidence just grew and grew and grew and she just flew around. Like she jumped some of those, amazing. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with her and I'm so glad Martha came with me and had Annabelle there as well. You've probably seen some clips of Midnight and her moves. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really good outing. Glad I went, glad I did it and glad I didn't bottle it for the 85. Just, just chuffed. So yeah, so next time, hopefully, we'll be going to Bisslewood and you'll see uh, some familiar faces on there so stay tuned for that and as always thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share follow and subscribe and stay tuned for more look at that face she is so clever she said stop accosting me more for my snuggles yeah okay bye A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time.